Okay. Um, I think you can see me now. So, a couple nights ago, I had to play uh, Emergency Pleco Rescue. And um, I'll tell you what, what I did, what I had to do, and it all involved this tank here. Um, it's the one that has my rosy barbs in it and my white clouds. I'll uh, let you know. So those of you that have been uh, watching a while uh, may remember my undergrowth filter that I did the video on that put in that I didn't have the end caps for these two extra ports. And on undergrowth filters, a uncovered port that's not being used is an easy area of access for water. So uplift tube, the water will be coming up here and it will pull the water from somewhere under the plate. So it pulls it from under the plate and water follows the least the path of least path of least resistance. So the gravel creates more resistance than an open hole. So I took a fish bag, cut it up, put the plastic over the hole and put a rubber band around it. And this was in my barb tank up there. Well, I had moved a couple of my albino bristlenose into that tank and uh, came down here to feed the other night and saw an albino bristlenose in the uplift tube. The uplift tube had the, uh, had the cap on it, so I knew he couldn't have went in that way without taking the cap off and I don't think the person was smart enough to know how to remove a cap. Um, and the cap, by saying cap I mean the uh, the elbow with the grate on it that the airline runs into. I'm sure you're familiar with them. So I started thinking how did he get in there and this is what I saw. The plastic was all off to the side, the rubber band was off of it and the hole is just open. I thought, great, he's went down in here, swam under the plate, couldn't figure out how to get out, and went up the tube. I took the top off, uh, encouraged him to come out, really easy. Fins beat up, he's kind of bruised up from being under the plate, and thought, well, that's just natural. Plecos like going in caves, that was a great dark cave, and he went in and got stuck. But I had put two about our bristle nose in that tank. Where was the other one? Started moving rocks, moving uh, moving the rocks and driftwood and um, couldn't find him anywhere in the tank. So I thought it's an underrail filter. It's on a rack system. Uh, which, for those of you that aren't familiar, is the, the stand that I've built here under the wood that has the tank below and the tank above. I can look underneath here, look up and see the underneath of the um, plate. Surely he's not under there stuck. Yep, that's right. He went down the tube also, got under the plate, and couldn't figure out how to get out from underneath the plate. And I can see his fins were tore up and he was bruised and not looking good. And um, had to figure out how to get him out of there. So I tried convincing him by putting my finger on the glass under there and encouraging him to go back towards the opening. But that was no good. So I had to think quickly what I was going to do. I scooted the gravel from this side of the tank over to this side of the tank, rushed down there, grabbed the plate, and lifted the whole plate up, dumping all the gravel to that side of the tank over there. So I had a pile of gravel over here. All the mulm that had been gathering in there was all stirred up in the water. And I basically had just ripped my filter out of the tank with no way to put it back 
without completely breaking the tank down. Good thing I had a uh, cycled sponge filter in another tank. I was able to put that in there. And the thought crossed my mind, I've just buried my plecos in the gravel. But as you can see, there's one back there. Torn fins, a few little bruises and stuff. And the other one likes to hide on the bottom of the sponge filter. A little camera shy. But it's also got some torn fins and some bruises and all that. But they are healthy. And here we are. Straighten the gravel back out a little bit. Sponge filter still running. Everybody getting along in there. We're about three or four days later. Two water changes of about 10 to 20 percent. And they're doing all right. So, moral of the story.